Hello and welcome. This is the third installment of showing you how to work with the CRC data initiative data set. And today I'm going to show you how you can generate nice and good looking output. Uh, that um, modules, that, that, that sort of uh, part is split into, uh, into two sections. First today we're just going to show you some, some basics and then in a separate part we're going to show you how to manipulate the charts in Excel each about lasting two or three minutes, uh, three or four minutes. So here we have a table, but and that table really works well for us. And, you know, we could copy it like that and work with it. But sometimes we want a visualization of data. How do we get this? It's actually very easy. Again, we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics. Remember, we wanted the frequencies. Here are the raw numbers. So here we go. And then we reset that window we often need to do this and move down here along the variables and find this question that we want which is how important are contributions or remittances paid by other people that are abroad or away that have migrated to the household now here we go to charts and then we have a selection of chart types. I personally think bar charts are very good ways of representing data. Here we want not so much the frequencies, the raw numbers. Uh, you see the frequencies here, but we'd like really the valid percent. Or that's what I want anyway, at this case. So continue and then click OK. And here we have the output again. We again get the table included. And then we have the output here in SPSS. How important are contributions to the household? And here vital, important, moderately important, not very important, not at all important. Now I'll warn you straight away, we can, we can output that here in such a way that we can um, that we can, you know, we export it through charts only. Then we need to s decide where we put that. I have a a file here where sort of uh, I a folder where I keep all output importance of contributions. Make it a habit to really call these things good names because uh, or as clear names. Otherwise, you'll get confused. And here we have a choice of potential output. JPEG is the, the most typical output for all that. And then we click OK. And then let's look across. These are some other outputs. This is the output we wanted today. And here we have a problem. Yeah, It cuts that stuff off. And this is really it cuts the text off. This is also not so very pretty. So this is a shortcoming of SPSS. Uh, you can play around with it and see whether it f it puts it out properly for you, but maybe it doesn't. So what's another way of doing that? We go here, export, and then in this case we just put the output document that, ch that it warns us charts are not included in the Excel report. That's fine. We can live with that. Let's decide where we're going to put that, and we're going to call it uh, contributions importance save and then click OK and then let's look here contributions importance that's where it is and we can now work with it you just saw something flash up that was another Excel document that was open in the background. And now we have an Excel table and we can then manipulate this within Excel to generate our output. We'll have a separate short installment since many of you know how to play with Excel. I'm not going to I'm not going to include that in this in this particular session. So that's the next the next short installment. Let's just walk back quickly to what we wanted to talk about. Here we often have tables, but we need to generate visualizations. Um, and the way to do that is either to go to Analyze Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies, and then request the chart here. You can also play around with graphs, 
up here in that line that gets a little more detailed than we need it right now you see that there are a lot of lot of options here but we don't actually we can just hold on to our old path of doing the through analyze and then generate this here and then export in some cases you can also just copy paste as an HTML product and if that doesn't do the trick for you because of problems like here that the labels too long or the uh, we, we the, 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 the it's not fully included then take the table export it into Excel and work with it there again you see it's really easy and uh, two or three more installments and you're fully up to speed on our data initiative and how to work with it. Thanks very much for stopping by and hope you'll follow us for the next installment as well.